make the bar graph that shows the comparison between the percentage accuracy of the original experiment and the improved experiment, you can use the information from when you did item three, the calculator for combustion of methanol, after you filled in your data. So once you filled in that data, and it should look like something like this, okay, you can see that the data is here and here, and then you can use the information that it's gathered. So we want this information here. I'm going to put this in blue so you can see it. Uh, the data that we want, we want that, and we want this. So those are the numbers we want. So the one on the left, this one here, is the 1% and then we've got 5%. Okay, what am I going to do with that information? So I'm going to go back to Word. And this is what I need to do. The easiest thing to do to get everything ready so you don't lose things is to press Command Enter so that you get a new page and then title it correctly. So you could just do five. Um, and then just write bar graph and then you can get back to it in terms of retitling this so there it is and then I'm going to insert a chart uh, for the column and I'm selecting this third one over here if you don't see that it's probably because you do not have an updated version of Microsoft Word so when you click here, it's going to send you to Excel. I have a lot of things open. Alright, so... Uh, application not loading. All right, here we go. So it's going to open a Excel spreadsheet where you get to see some random information. This random information has been generated. Yep, I can. So it's been randomly generated for you. Okay. Um, so what you don't need is categories three and four, delete, or series three, delete. Um, it's going to say column two there. We don't need that either. Um, so the way you can delete that is select the column and then press delete. Okay. And then you will have the rest of this. You want to rename category one with original and category two with improved. In the first column under series one, you want to write the percentage accuracy for the original experiment. So in this case, from the Excel spreadsheet that I showed, it's one. The number you want in the second column that says series two is whatever this number is subtracted from a hundred. So a hundred minus one is ninety-nine. The percentage accuracy from your original experiment. No. Original minus one hundred. Yes from a hundred okay in the improved section that's the percentage that you're going to write based on what you did uh, so in the experimental data that we saw it said five percent which means in the series two column it was a hundred minus five that's ninety five click outside the box there and then you'll get all that stuff and then if you go, if you return to your original document, that's what you'll get. Okay? 
You can delete that if you want to because that's not meaningful. And then you can come up with your own chart title. Okay? If you want all this empty space to disappear, you can go back to Excel. And can you see here there's a bunch of, there's a blue line and then there's like this empty data. You can shift that blue border to contain only the information that is there in the spreadsheet. So I'll do that again. Uh, it's the blue box is looking at a lot of stuff. I just want the information. By doing that, if I go back to Word, it's going to remove all the other stuff. And you're going to get just the data presented. You can see it goes up to 100%. Okay? Um, and then you can see your original and your improved. Okay? If you want them to swap around, then you just need to change where the rows are sitting in your Excel spreadsheet and then you'll have it.